If you want end users to be able to extract information from applications, generating a PDF file is a good option. I'll show you how. So this is my service studio. I'm inside a reactive application. It has an entity called issue. It has these attributes. And I also have a static entity priority. I have linked these two together. In case you're interested how I build this, you can watch the video on radio button. Uh, that's where I built this application from scratch. Uh, then after what I did, I dragged and dropped this entity here at the main flow editor here and build the usual listing and detail screen. Now the topic of this video is uh, the PDF export. So in our systems, we have access to Forge where we have access to hundreds of plugins. In this case, I'm using one particular one that is called Ultimate PDF, this one here. I'll leave the link in the description of this video. This allows us to generate a PDF by giving the URL of the screen. That's the part I like. How to use it? So basically from the application, you add a reference to it. Of course, you have to download the plugin from Forge and install it. And thereafter, you can look for it in Manage Dependencies. This is the one. And then it gives you actions. Uh, now, this one is quite straightforward. It accepts the URL of the page that you want to export as PDF and it returns the PDF file. There's an advanced version of this available here where you can specify paper size and set some margins also. And there's a lot of other stuff that you can do, which uh, can be a topic for another video. So I'm going to use the print to PDF, the most simplest one to generate a PDF from the URL. Now to tidy up, let's put a button on the screen. That's the one that the user can click. Let's call it print. And then when somebody is clicking on this print button, you can provide the logic. And the logic is to call that function we just mentioned. It's called print something. I can do a search for it. And then the URL of the page. Now here in the URL, I want to pass the URL of the current page. Now, if you expand the built-in functions here, there are some built-in functions for working on the URLs. The one that gives us the URL of the current page is this get bookmark cable URL. So if I call it, it will run the URL of the current page. Thereafter, we are going to replace this end with the download function here. So that will allow us to generate a, a file. So here in the content, we will get the output from the function above. So that is here and we can give it a name. We can make it dynamic or just hard coded like I'm doing it here. Dot PDF. Make sure the extension is PDF. And that's it. We go ahead and publish it. Nice. So it's getting generated and it's done. I'm launching it. It's opening another window. It's here. So that's my page. It has uh, the list, shows issues, and the print function that I just built. If I click on it, I get the file. And if I want to see it, it's exactly what I see on the screen in a PDF now. Now there's a variation to this also that can be there. For example, from the issues, page itself, we have the list. Maybe I want to provide a, a line item, uh, line item, item PDF generation. So when I click on, when a user clicks on the PDF button, maybe it exports you of that particular issue itself, only that particular issue. So in that case, I'm going to reuse the issue little page, but you can create any other screen and have the URL of that page ready. So how we'll do it is uh, I'll add a new column by having the options here. And there I can maybe put an icon like this. I guess we have an icon for PDF. Yes, we do. You can use it. And when somebody is clicking on it, I can bind it to a logic. So a new client action, uh, which was this one, I think. Yeah. Link on click. It's empty as of now. And now we're going to call the same function, print, and the URL. Now in this time around, we'll not give the URL of the current screen but rather I want to give the URL of the issue detail. Now, what I will do is I'll go back to my page, copy the URL of one of the issues like this. That's how it looks. I'll copy it, copy, and going back my logic in the URL, I try to make it dynamic. So that's the URL. And then I can pass the ID. So in this case, that is the current issue ID, which is available in this query. Okay, so every time it will become dynamic. So what it does for every record where you click that icon, let me just summarize. So when you click the icon, it will trigger the logic call and the logic will use the ID of the current record in the list 
and then call the logic for generating the PDF. So after that, I think it's the usual one. We have to provide the download link. The content will come from the PDF and the file name, let's make it dynamic as well. Could be the issue title dot PDF. Okay, so that's how we make it dynamic and publish. Now, if you understand this by, by way of this, you are able to create any particular screen and convert it into PDF. So you might as well create a nice report with not so much of CSS styling and export it in a, in a textual format also is possible. So I'm launching it now. I have my link for PDF files against each of the record. And if I click on any of these, I'm expecting to download only that particular record, that particular issue. So travel card problem dot PDF. Here you have, and if I open it, I have uh, the detail page converted into a PDF file. And that's how you use uh, PDF generation in our systems. Thanks for watching.